Uh, so I'm Devin Ridgely. I'm the uh, chief biologist for h and Photonics. Um, what we do is we develop research equipment uh, to perform life science research on board the International Space Station. Hi, my name is Sylvia Lowe and I'm the bioengineer at h and Photonics. Hi, I'm Brittany Wilbrand and I'm a staff biologist at h and Photonics. So today we have the Phoenix Box. Uh, this is essentially a portable live cell incubator. This is what we use to transport our biology from Hawaii uh, and we'll take it to a launch site, say Kennedy Space Center or Wallops Island. Uh, and we'll launch it to the International Space Station where we will uh, perform some live cell biology within some of our research, or, or research equipment uh, that we've developed uh, here on Hawaii. So what is the biology that's in there right now? So right now we have living neurons that are culturing inside the Phoenix box. Uh, we're going to take it on the plane. Uh, we're going to get some accelerometer data to see how the cells react to certain acceleration environments. And uh, they're living neurons from what kind of animal? Human. Oh, human oh. living neurons are inside okay. the box. Yeah. Cool. And eventually, uh, and when do you estimate this to be on board the ISS? So our first launch uh, with the neurons is going to be in February on uh, Northrop Grumman 13. Hello everybody, it's Lawrence with my son Max and we have uh, Brittany, one of the scientists uh, on the project and uh, we're going to do some steep turns, uh, some, a little bit of uh, zero-g or microgravity and then we'll do some takeoff and landing so we can uh, get some accelerometer data uh, for the live neurons that are in the back that are eventually will make their way to the International Space Station. You're going to feel 1.41 G's, approximately. And then at the 60 degree bank, uh, you will feel 2 G's. All right. you ready, Brittany? I'm ready. Okay, let's start one to the right. right. Ready, go. All right. Keep it coordinated, check your ball. Nope. No, not too much right, but there you go. That's it. Good. That's 45, yep. Yep. Okay, a little bit. Let's go, there you go. All right, mic control. We're going to continue to the 60 degree bank. Here we go. Here comes 2G. So we're in the Scorpio 5 lab, which is where we uh, assemble and test all of our hardware that's going to the International Space Station. So we're the testing. And this, this is going to do what? This is an automated live cell biology platform. So it's going to be installed on the space station. Essentially what you do is you load your biology at Kennedy Space Center, you close up the system, you launch it, and for a month everything runs autonomously. Automated microfluidics, automated microscopy. We have our uh, neuroblastoma cells here. And this is a, a live dead assay. So they're fluorescing because they uptook 